Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So, it's been almost a year since my most successful iRacing video. <laughs> uh, and it's time to review it and set it up for the next 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 year, I guess. So, uh, without further ado, uh, iRacing AI Racer 2022 version. First things you need to cover is that, first of all, uh, iRacing AI races will work only from the new UI. You can't start them from the old new user interface. Other thing is that not all cars and not all tracks are available. Uh, iRacing has a list on the web page. I'll put it down in the description and maybe in a link on, 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 on top there. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Other thing is that they keep adding tracks, as you can see, new cars and tracks joining, and that list on the website is not updated. So you might want to check the iRacing release notes. I will put down the link where you can read all the release notes as well. It's not. It's usually the large releases which add add things to iR races uh, with car in terms of cars and tracks. So usually just check the season major releases and and you should be fine. Now. Let's get into actually going iRacing. Uh, so AI racing. So we go to iRacing UI, and then we go to the section I AI racing. Uh, by default, it presents you with a simple Porsche season, which is provided by iRacing, the legacy 911 GT3 Cup car. Uh, it's a fun place to play around if you want. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, and. Oh, we will talk today about the single race. So we can select single race from here or from here. So the default view is the wizard view right here, uh, which goes step by step. You set the track, then you go set the weather, uh, dynamic sky, sky type, generate weather. If you want fully automatic generator, you can set the specific temperatures. Uh, if you know what will be in your, for example, if you're practicing for the specific race, sometimes they say what kind of track settings there will be. So we set up the sessions and have a practice session. How long you want quali qualifying in terms of 10 minutes qualifying or lap, one, two, three, four lap. Uh, and then, of course, the race. You can set the race length in time hours, minutes, or in lap. Other race options. Uh, it's the qualifying conduct scrutiny. scrutiny. Basically, this is what you uh, set up uh, for the qualification session. It works the same way as it's in, in, in the official session. If the higher the scrutiny, the higher chance to get disqualified from qualifying for uh, doing burnouts, spinning the car, going too slow, and, and so on. <laughs> it was showing red because we didn't put in laps. So now it's green. Then you select the car you want to drive. Uh, opponent will drive the same car. How many drivers? A uh, iRacing doesn't suggest to run more than forty drivers. So on pro on some tracks you can run like sixty four, uh, sixty two. But just be in mind that that will make your computer explode. Fuel capacity. How much fuel we put in the car? So other basically it's so very similar to what you do when you're setting up setting up the host session race. Uh, skill. Okay, 195% is cheaters. Interesting. I didn't know that. Alien Pros is shit. 69. <laughs> okay, let's have the hot shows. Um, yeah, track options. So start, rolling start, bending start. Restart, double foul back, single, single. So that's probably usually for the uh, ovals, I guess. 
fast repairs, no limit, limit, um, joker laps for the for the tracks that have a joker place, um, basically your rally cross. Short parade lap is available for some of the tracks. Cool curls, yellows, lucky dog, that's an oval thing, wave around oval thing. And track conditions, real marbles, start state, so that's again, time of the day. Again, this is either afternoon, how fast the time passes by, and if you, for example, want to practice for a night race or something, you can set it up to have a super specific time. And that's it. If you, when you have done all of this, you can go and click continue. Your AI session will start. I'm usually preferring the all all steps thing because it puts everything in one place and it's kind of easier and better over for you but it basically gets the same we select the track we select the weather we select the race session we select the qualifying scrutiny we add the car set up the components we set up the race option the, the track track start options and race options uh, track conditions and again, the time. And then we can start the session. Let's go. See where it takes us. Well, tech, you didn't like the setup. Okay. Uh, so we set up where we are. We are Chicagoland. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, we can skip the sessions so we do not do qualifying here sends a message to advance the session so we skip the check the flag p2 uh we can do the qualifying we can skip the qualifying and then we will have to start the race if race goes wrong you can pull the car and go back in this screen and go the back back one step and actually restart the race if you want to. So it gives you really an options to try and play around. Uh, let's give it a shot. All right, Marek, here we go. Don't fuck this up. Go. Car high. Watch out. Still there. Still there. Stay on your line. So bad at this Clear car. Outside. <laughs> car high. Hold your line. Outside is clear now. P3. That's basically yeah. <laughs> we'll need to pit for repairs. We've had the black and orange flag. Yeah, yeah. Then we go. We get out of the car. And we can actually go to the previous session. So yeah, you can play around, have fun, have a serious practice. If you push up to the aliens or creatures, the difficulty level of AI drivers, they're pretty harsh and pretty fast. <laughs> so yeah. Hope you enjoy it. See you on the track. Have fun. Bye bye.